What's up everyone? So, I had someone ask me the other day if I was still doing my midnight gardening and digging holes. Of course, that will never stop. But, I have taken a little hiatus. So, back in May, I bought myself another house. This is a almost 1800 square foot, three bedroom, two bath ranch. Uh, it's going to be another rental added to the portfolio. This is a one owner house. She was retiring. This house was never lived in. I call it brand, brand new 92. So the house was built in 92. No one has actually ever lived in it full time. Uh, funny enough, the person, the lady who owned it, works for the state forest service and so she lives pretty much out in the country and she bought a house in the city to get it to escape the country you know usually it's the other way around so uh house was in great condition but uh, you can see the few remnants of 92 so the house wasn't a total gut um but we did new windows new trim uh, door new doors are going in tomorrow um, We moved some walls Currently we're in the kitchen um, I'm gonna be installing cabinets next week So fridge Fridge used to be right here Fridge is now going over here So it'll go it was originally a 24 inch built-in pantry a doorway and then uh, uh, a stupid secretary and I hate those so closed it in it's gonna go 24 inch pantry fridge 36 inch fridge opening then another 24 inch pantry and that, that gives us this cool little area that's perfect for uh, like a little coffee nook and uh, we're doing quartz countertops all throughout real wood maple maple cabinets those are all uh, those were all semi custom so that means that some of them are custom built some of them are off the shelf uh, I got my big cargo trailer full of them uh, laundry room good size laundry room uh, the laundry room got moved around so uh, the laundry room is funky it's long and narrow so originally, washer and dryer were under this cabinet. So I moved them over here, and then uh, a cabinet, a new cabinet, will go up there, uh, replumbed. New washer and dryer, right there. Actually, all the appliances are right there. Full KitchenAid suite. KitchenAid fridge, tools, uh, Electrolux washer and dryer, everything else is KitchenAid. A little bit of remnants of the old owner stuff. So then this is what the, I guess what it would be the living room. Uh, originally this was wood burning. Had a gas insert ins installed. Ooh, those got pricey. I used to get those done for about four grand. Close to ten grand with the with the new gas line. Dining area. It's a vanity for the master. Uh, cam lights everywhere. There were no lights in this house, so did I love cam lights. So did them everywhere. Puck lights, not cam. Uh, new door, new front doors coming. This is bedroom one or the den. Like glass. Big fan of Graco sprayers with an FFLP tip. That's fine finish, low pressure. Uh, they consider this a walk in closet. I don't know. You be the judge. Uh, bathroom number one, my office. You got to have something while you're working, so I haven't torn this apart. Um, this is bedroom number two. Currently holding all the Cortec flooring. 
you guys are going to do luxury vinyl, look into Cortec. Cortec is one of the best on the market, one of the best warranties, residential or commercial, hands down, one of the best. So this right here got all reframed out. So this used to be two closets. There was a little tiny linen closet right here. Uh, and then there was another goofy closet. And we combined it into one larger linen closet. So, so as you can see, that's where the wall used to be. So it was two tiny doors, but it was two separate closets. So you can see where those five gallon buckets are for reference. That's how big that other closet was. Uh, retarded. I know I'm not supposed to say that, but it was. So made it into one larger closet. This will be great for linen, storage, all that kind of stuff. Um, then we're coming into the master. Again, look at those doors. Light glass. Again, new door be installed tomorrow. Uh, here's the master bath. So it got replumbed and rewired. Originally it was set up for, had a small vanity, single sink. Uh, I got a 72 inch vanity, excuse me, 74 inch vanity, dual sinks. Uh, there was a jacuzzi tub here. I hate jacuzzi tubs, so we ripped it out and it's gonna be all uh, just a long vanity um, with just enough room for like a trash can or something uh, so it doesn't block the, the, um, the window. I didn't wanna do too much with messing with the exterior walls because vinyl siding, and the vinyl siding is about 20 years old, so getting vinyl to match or look good, getting vinyl to look good in general sucks, so I didn't want to mess with it. So we'll have a 18 inch pantry, then with the big vanity, and then we got the shitter closet, the throne. Um, I did not, I am not replacing the showers. A lot of times I'll do some crazy tile work and stuff like that. I'm not doing it, it's a rental. So the only thing I did was new mixer valves, black. Everything is gonna be black. Um, so all black door handles, black hinges, black knobs. So all the walls got cut open so we could do new plumbing. <sighs> Could never even tell I was there. And that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, and then this is master closet, walk-in closet number two. Um, had Portland closets come out, install this California closet system. Uh, I was spraying in here, so it's all kind of masked up. But, uh, you know, these are great systems. A little more than I wanted to spend, but it makes great use of this kind of awkward closet place. So, again, white glass. So that has been my midnight gardening project. Hope you guys enjoy. And as always, T6 out. If you want some keychains, let me know.